Massachusetts General Hospital, Dr. Anderson graduated from MIT and then received his MD from the joint MIT-Harvard medical program. In addition to research at the Wellman Center, Dr. Anderson practices dermatology at MassGen and teaches at Harvard and MIT. Let's give him a round of applause. Our next judge is Hemant Taneja. He is the managing director at General Catalyst. And as a managing director, Hamant invests in, mo in both uh, new and existing technology businesses. His areas of special interest include clean energy, emerging economies, healthcare, and consumer internet. Before joining General Catalyst in 2002, Hamant was the founder and CEO of Isovia, a Boston-based mobile software and applications company acquired by JP Mobile in 2001. Hamant is a graduate of MIT with multiple degrees in engineering, operations, and computer science. Our final judge is Mr. Tim Rowe. He is a venture partner at New Atlantic Ventures. Tim is the founder and CEO of Cambridge Innovation Center, the largest facility in the U.S. dedicated to housing early stage technology event, uh, businesses. Tim serves on the boards of several private companies and is particularly interested in consumer-oriented mass market companies. Prior to his current roles, Tim was a manager with the Boston Consulting Group and an analyst with Mitsubishi Research in Tokyo. Thank you. All right, and now we're going to go through a little bit of an overview of the contest. So as I mentioned over the past uh, few days, we have had uh, uh, preliminary rounds where we've filtered down the 306 contestants down to 10 semifinalists in each of the six categories. Those 60 semifinals are sitting here among us today. And uh, I would like to give my personal congratulations to all of them. This is a very competitive process, and you guys are rock stars just for making it this far. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't have all 60 pitch here tonight. So unbeknownst to anyone, they don't know that they're the finalists, but we've actually narrowed it down to the top two within each category. So we're going to have 12 people pitching tonight. And those 12, they don't know that they're going to pitch, and they don't know when they're going to pitch. So it's yeah, you know, a little bit tough. Uh, <laughs> but uh, those 12 are competing for four different prizes. As Luke mentioned, the first prize is $5,000. That's you know, not bad. And uh, we have two runners up. They will each get $2,000, and then we have a fourth prize, which is determined by all of you, and that's uh, the audience favorite, and they get $1,000. The, uh, the, the format will be broken down into three different rounds. In each of the rounds, we're going to have four different uh, contestants pitching their ideas, and shortly before, we're going to announce who those finalists are. They're going to run down here, and then they're going to start pitching. At the conclusion of the round, all of you will vote using uh, a former 100K company services poll everywhere, and you'll vote for your favorite of that round. While the judges are deliberating at the very end, we're going to hold a final round where you're going to vote between the three finalists for your absolute favorite. So that's the structure. Uh, that, those are all of the rules. And uh, yeah, so we're moving on. Uh, next, we have ev everyone can uh, buckle your seatbelt. We have uh, a very exciting segment for you. We're going to go back in time. Oh, excuse me, we have a platinum sponsor. Uh, <laughs> roll the commercial. Brown Rudnick is a full service international law firm. From offices in the United States and Europe, our 200 attorneys practice across integrated areas of law and provide clients with a breadth and depth of expertise uniquely suited to their individual legal needs. Visit Brown Rudnick at www.brownrudnick.com. All right. Ooh. Let's give it up for him. I think we have one more. Okay. Thank you to our platinum sponsors. Ah, all right. Okay. So now we're going to recognize all of those semifinalists, and I'm going to call out all of their names. When your name is called, please stand up to, uh, to be acknowledged.
but audience, please hold your applause until the very end because, yeah, it will take a while. So uh, semi-finalists, Barbara Kong, Bilikis Adibi, David Craner, Erica Dewan, Kerry Leonard, Laura Esnola, Mohammed Haraj, Pratham Naik, Shayna Harris, and Slava Men. All right. Congratulations. All right, so our next segment is actually brought to us by uh, GM Ventures, so we'd like to thank them. And the energy semifinalists are Jonathan Gibbs. Uh, again, please hold your applause until the very end. Carl Kritz. Kishav Punan Malka. Purin, Purin Malka, I'm sorry. Curtis McKenney. Lauren Vader. Leslie Dewan. Nasrudin Nasrali. Thomas Lipoma, Vanessa Green, and Xing Men. Congratulations, guys. Now we're going back in time. Salve, sono Alessandro Volta. E sono qui per spiegarvi come sono riuscito a immagazzinare l'elettricità all'interno dei miei bicchieri di vino. Vedete, ho scoperto che due metalli, lo zinco e il rame, quando messi all'interno di un bicchiere di vino riempito di salamoia, riescono a trattenere l'elettricità. Ora, non so quanto questo possa essere utile. Io in realtà l'ho fatto solo per provare che i miei colleghi avevano torto. Ma sono sicuro che qualcuno potrà trovarci qualcosa di buono. Quanto vorrei aver avuto una competizione dove poter mostrare la mia invenzione. All right. Thank you, Volta. All right. So are you guys ready to hear the round one finalists? I am. Yeah. Woo. All right, finalists. When your name is called, please come down and uh, gather over here. All right. Let's cue the finals. Muhammad Haraj, Shayna Harris, Geraldine Hugh, and Noah Wilson Rich. Come on down. Woo! All right, before we have them pitch, we need to practice the start off. And we want to start them off in style. So, uh, so we have a, a cheer, and it goes ready, set, and then you guys yell pitch right back at the stage. You guys ready to practice? We need to be loud, so let's go. Ready, set, pitch. Wow. OK, I don't think we need to do that again. That was great. All right. Mohammed, you ready? All right, come on over. Judges ready? Ready, set, a few years ago, telephones were about physical infrastructure. Wires, poles, exchanges, home addresses. Low-income people in the developing world could not get them because it was expensive to give them a phone. Mobile phones changed that. Today, banking is the exact same way in the developing world. It's about personal knowledge. It's about bank branches more expensive than Cambridge, Massachusetts. And the developing world can no, cannot afford to give bank accounts to the poor people. Mobex, my venture, will change all that. Mobex is branchless banking. Mobex is about taking banking functions outside of, branch outside of branches into retailer locations. The tasks of identity management, cash window, as well as money transfer, all get connected through the retailers to the people who walk into the retailer, and they can do their banking there. It is using technology that I developed for over a million dollars for a bank. Now he'll take a question from the judges. One question. <laughs> How do you make money? 
the the model is 